All right, transformer has uh, 120 primary windings and 2,400 secondary windings. So this is another step up, right? Uh, and, and secondary is 2,400. Is that going to step it up by a factor of, is it 20? Something like that. All right. Uh, there's an AC voltage of 90 volts and a current in the primary. What is the voltage and current through the secondary? Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, so a primary, the um, voltage is 90 volts, and the current in the primary is 125 milliamps, so 0 0.125 amps. Okay, and then we got to figure out what is our voltage secondary, what is our current in the secondary, right? Okay, all right. So um, the, the windings are directly proportional to the voltage. So let's do that first. NP uh, is 120, right? So we're going to go NP over NS is uh, VP over VS, right? So uh, let's see, 120 over 2400 is equal to 90 over VS. All right. So we're going to go 90 times 2400 divided by 120. And the secondary is 1800. Okay. I love these problems. Eh? All right. So voltage in the secondary, right, is 1800 volts, right? And then um, if we're going to figure out the current, right, remember current's inversely proportional. So uh, NP over NS equals IS over IP, right? So this is one way to do it, right? So uh, 120 over 2400 is equal to the current in the secondary, right, over, and then the current is 0.125. So uh, 0.125 times 120 divided by 2400 is uh, I secondary is 0 0.00625 amps, or let's see, 1, 2, 3, 6.25 milliamps, right? Now, another way you can do that uh, power, okay, is just do IV is IV, right? Okay, so I can say that uh, in the primary, it's, it's 0.125 amps times 90 volts is equal to I secondary times 1800 volts, right? And then I can go 0.125 times 90 divided by 1800. I get exactly the same thing, I secondary is 0 0.00625 amps. All right.